I don't know about you guys, but I have been doing absolutely nothing all day but playing Chapter 5 Season 4 of Fortnite. So with that being said, I have a good amount of hours under my belt, and today I wanted to rank every single brand new weapon in the new season of Fortnite. There are a couple pointers I need to make at the beginning of this video. For one, this is every single new weapon, and it will not count returning weapons except for two, which got basically reworks, and I'll explain that later in the video. So for example, the Hyper SMG or the Striker. AR will not be in this video. As well as this, some of the new mythics like Gwenpool's dual micro SMGs will just be counted in the regular dual micro SMG category. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like and use code TIEFRIES. Be sure to drop a comment letting me know what video you would like to see about Chapter 5 Season 4 next. With all that being said, let's get right into this. At the number 12 spot and what I believe to be probably the worst new item added, it's actually a medallion. It's Mysterio Stealth Medallion. And I don't know, this medallion's so far has not really proved to be incredibly useful to me. All it does is when you crouch, you become invisible, right? And then when you uncrouch, you become uninvisible. I don't know. I never really felt like the invisibility factor was very important to me. I mean, I never used like Predator's Cloak Gauntlet before. This is basically the same thing, as well as like the cloaking stealth gauntlets from Chapter 4, Season 3. So I, I don't really know why they decided to bring back the invisibility thing. I get it might be part of his character, but I actually think there's a lot of times when this can hurt you, right? Like if you go to crouch, it makes the noise that the invisibility is on and when you uncrouch it makes the same noise that turns it off so if you're near somebody they can hear all that and at the number 11 spot is captain america shield and just hear me out for a second please before you rip me i am a builds only player that is going to be crucial to know before you watch more of this video because Captain America shield is going to be a top tier weapon in zero build. Look, any shield, any cover that you can have in zero build is going to be crucial and that's exactly what this thing does. So again, in zero build, this is probably a top three item. But for me as a build player, Captain America shield is, I don't want to say useless, but not great. And again, I mostly play solos, but I think this thing would be more suitable in like a duos, trios, or squads mode where you can chain the attacks to multiple different players as long as they're close to each other. Again, it's essentially just like a reworked ballistic shield from chapter 5 season 1. So yeah, you can see why for me as a build player, it's low on this list. At the number 10 spot is War Machine's Hover Jets. And I've seen so many players using this and I think it's decent to an extent. I think it's good, but it requires you to be good at pairing it with something else, right? The jetpack itself is nothing really crazy. It's just like the regular jetpack that we've seen countless times in Fortnite. And I don't think anybody really thinks that that jetpack is so crazy crazy good, right? But where this thing excels is when you combine it with, let's say, Captain America Shield or the Arcane Gauntlets or War Machine's Arsenal, then you start to get into some serious combos. You can fly above somebody, lock onto them, you can do anything. So if you are able to pair it with the right weapon, these things can be absolutely deadly, but on their own, it's not anything crazy that really doesn't move the needle very much. At the number nine spot is the Monarch Pistol, and I actually really like this weapon. It's a really cool idea. To me, it kind of feels like a mixture between the Deagle and the revolver. And those are two fan favorite pistols, right? So I can see why a lot of people are going to run this weapon, especially because, well, to my knowledge so far, there is no snipers in the game. So this could be your kind of big damage, longer range weapon, especially because you can have some scopes on it. And again, I think this is going to be one of those weapons that is going to be a high skill, high reward weapon. In a good player's hands, who knows how to effectively use this with good aim, I think that this is definitely going to be a top weapon this season. But I don't know, for myself, when I was playing, I really didn't have a spot for it in the meta, especially when there's a weapon higher up on this list, which you'll see that is a auto take every time you see it. So I didn't really honestly have a spot in my inventory to hold this thing most of the time, especially with such a strong AR meta, which it looks like we have this season. At the number eight spot, and I got a hot take for you guys here, that is the dual micro SMGs. And of course this includes the mythic version as well. I'm seeing people like all over Twitter, all over YouTube complaining that this thing is ridiculously overpowered. I mean, for me, it doesn't feel that way. Like I don't hop into a lobby and I'm like, I absolutely need these dual SMGs. They are certainly very strong, don't get me wrong, but they're not really versatile at all. I mean, you can only use them at an extremely, extremely close range. With that being said, though, there is very little bloom, actually, a lot less than you would expect with these, and I think that they are going to get a nerf just because the bloom is so tight and the fire rate is incredible. I could see it getting a very, very minimal fire rate nerf. Look, I think they're good at what they're meant to do. If you use them at the range in which they are intended, you are going to melt everybody in a box. But besides that, I don't really think they do anything else crazily well, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is definitely a hot topic weapon right now. At the number seven spot is Emma Frost Reveal Medallion. And I think this is actually an item that with time, I think will end up getting better and better. It essentially just like reveals 
everything in like a nearby radius every like couple seconds. And a couple of seconds is actually a very friendly way. I think it's more like 30 seconds to a minute every time it pings from the gameplay that I've seen. I think it's actually very well balanced. It doesn't seem like it's overpowered, right? Like I don't think you have to wait too long for a ping, but it's not like it's pinging every five seconds. That would be absolutely broken. So I think it's really well balanced, but I think this is a medallion that you're always going to take when you see it, right? It reminds me of the augment. I forget what it was called. I think it was storm mark when every time the storm would close in, it would basically just like ping everybody around you. I think this is a good medallion, but I don't think that it is the best we've seen this season. That title would go to the number six spot, Doombot Siphon Medallion. And it does exactly what it says. It gives you siphon every time you kill somebody. Look, a siphon medallion is incredibly valuable for multiple reasons, but it only really works if you're good at the game. You get what I'm saying? Like if you are going to go out and you are the fragger, right? You're getting five, 10, 15 kills a game. This medallion is going to be by far the best because you are the only player in the entire lobby that has siphon. But if you are the type of player that likes to play more passive, just do the damage and let your teammates finish off the kills. Well, this medallion is going to be basically useless and you would probably much rather take the other two medallions over this one. So I think this medallion is really dependent on who the player having it is, but I think you're going to see particularly in competitive and ranked, this is going to be the medallion that everyone is going to go for. And that's why it's higher on this list than the other two. At the number five spot is the Sovereign Shotgun. This is a really interesting one. I've kind of had trouble getting a grip on whether I like this shotgun or not. It feels kind of slow, to be honest with you. Almost like a pump and lever action had a kid, but the fire rate is more like a pump and not like a lever action. The pellet spread is also quite wide. I mean, when I picked it up multiple times, it reminded me of like the, the pellet spread of a lever action shotgun, not like a pump shotgun, which of course it is. I have kind of mixed opinions on this weapon just because the shotgun meta this season seems to be pretty good. I mean, think about it. They left the gatekeeper in, which I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not. I mean, I know so many people love the gatekeeper. To me, I still prefer the gatekeeper over the sovereign, but I definitely prefer the sovereign over the hammer pump shotgun. So currently, I feel like the sovereign is in that kind of middle area where it's not the worst shotgun in the game, but it's not the best. It does decent damage in those legendary rarities. Once you get up there, you're doing 101 damage. So that is really good. But I don't know. In my opinion, I prefer the gatekeeper over the sovereign shotgun at this point in the season. At the number four spot is the striker burst rifle. And yes, I know that this weapon has been in previous seasons, but it kind of got a rework. So I consider it a newer weapon. It now default to my knowledge spawns without a scope, almost like the AUG used to do in something like chapter two, season two or chapter two, season three. And I can't emphasize how much I am enjoying this weapon. It feels amazing. It feels like an AUG, right? Which is one of my favorite weapons of all time. No scope. It does like 34, 35, 36 damage. But if you were more of a fan of the OG striker burst, then you can get a scope on this thing, a 1.3 times scope, a regular red dot scope. And then all of a sudden it plays like how the old striker burst used to play. And yeah, I'm just a really big fan of this weapon so far. I think it's really, really good to me. It actually feels like the best assault rifle so far this season, especially with that like 1.3 times, like that square optic with the yellow circle in the middle. It feels so good to use. At the number three spot is Doom's Arcane Gauntlets. And yes, while these have been in previous seasons, they got a total rework. So here they are in this list. And basically they essentially put two mythics in one. If you remember back in the day, all the way in chapter two, season four, you'll remember that the mystical bomb and the arcane gauntlets were two separate mythics, but now they have been combined into one, which, I mean, if you think about it, you're basically getting what used to be two mythics in just one item that is extremely strong. And I have found these gauntlets to be really, really good, especially paired with something like the hover jets. Oh my God, they are incredible. The mystical bomb is really good. You essentially get unlimited, right? Except you just have to wait like 10 or 15 seconds after you use one. One, but the arcane gauntlets, if I remember correctly, are infinite. You could just spam them all day long. And it's interesting to me, right? Because I wonder how these are going to play in a no build mode, right? If you remember in chapter two, season four, we didn't have no build back then. So it'll be interesting to see how these things play out in zero build. Again, I think especially when you compare them with the jets, it is going to be a disaster if you have to go up against this thing. But it is not the best mythic this season. The number two spot, and honestly, some people may have expected it to be number one, it's War Machine's auto turrets. And all right, guys, we got to have 
have a little bit of a conversation about this. Look, I understand the season has only been out for a day, but this weapon has potential to be absolutely destructive to this season. And I don't think that's overreacting. This and the number one spot could potentially ruin this season. Look, I am a builds player again, so these auto turrets aren't crazy good. They are still very, very strong, but I have a feeling that in zero build, every single player is going to need to get their hands on this. If you guys don't know how this works, it's actually insane. You basically just pick it up off the ground, it replaces your back bling, and you don't have to use it, you don't have to switch to it in your inventory spot, you don't have to do anything. You just let it sit there on your back, and it will auto-target and auto-lock on to any player within the range and just start shooting it. You can see why I think this is going to be such a big problem in zero build. You cannot block yourself from this. In build, yeah, you just place a wall, right, and it can't lock onto you. But I I have seen players combining this and the jetpack together and it is legitimately unstoppable and i don't really know how they would go about like tuning this thing because the damage isn't really out of this world i think it does five damage a shot but it's more than just the damage right it's like the flinch you get when it hits you the shield cracking on your screen right just from constantly getting pelted with this thing it distracts you it makes you feel like you're under pressure you know what i'm saying it's all those things added in one maybe they end up making it so that you have to actually hold it in your inventory like you have to swap to it in your inventory to use it because right now you just put it on your back and forget about it for the rest of the game that's it this is probably the number one complaint i have seen about chapter 5 season 4 so far and it makes total sense but there surprisingly is actually a weapon that is even better than this at the number one spot it is war machines arsenal let me just say something here this arsenal is absolutely broken this is busted it needs to be nerfed and it will get nerfed i guarantee it i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this thing is almost like a pocket mech right? You remember the mechs from Season X? To me, I get the same vibes when I use this thing. You have something like 500 bullets in this thing, and then you get like an infinite like rocket barrage. Again, combine it with the jetpack, you are going to run through every single player you come against. They won't stand a chance with this arsenal. This is like the number one go-to weapon you gotta get this season. If you get your hands on this, you're probably gonna win the game. I think it's way too strong in its current state. I absolutely believe it will get a nerf, but since it's here in its current state, it is not only the best new weapon in chapter 5 season 4 i believe it's just the best weapon in the entire game right now well if you guys went on to enjoy this video be sure to leave it a like it was really hard to make right i do have a couple hours of play time but there's still a lot more playing and a lot more feeling out of these weapons that i need to do if you guys would like to see more chapter 5 season 4 content comment down below what you would like to see me rank and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave it a like and i will catch you guys in the next one peace